Hello everybody, it's Anna here again today and today we are at Rhythm. Here we are at the castle in North Wales and we're going to be learning some history and maybe some Welsh language as we go along. So come along and join us. You're very, very welcome. Don't forget welcome in Welsh is Croeso. Wanted to say that Rhythm is like nowhere else in Wales because it's layered with centuries of history and is a, a market town and there is evidence of Celtic and Roman settlements in this area but little is known of the history of the town before the construction of this castle which was started in 1277 as part of Edward I of England's plan to subjugate the Welsh Prince Llewellyn the last. So this castle was begun in 1277 and survived attacks by Owain Glyndor in 1400 and it was com almost completely destroyed by parliamentary forces in 1644. But part of its five towers connecting curtain walls and gateways remain. The new castle here was built in 1826 and extended in 1848 to 1852 and it's noted for its Victorian mock medieval style. It's actually a hotel today that you can stay in so it's really nice. So yes, this castle was started in 1277 by David, the brother of Prince Llewellyn ap Grifid. However, he forfeited the castle when he rebelled against King Edward I of England with his brother. Now, Edward's Queen Eleanor was in residence here in 1281. The Marcher Lord Reginald de Grey of Chester was given the Camterev, which is the administrative district of Dufferin Cloyd, that's Welsh for a Vale of Clwyd, and his family ran it for the next 226 years. Now, the third Baron de Greys, I don't want to bore you with all these names, but it's, it's quite fascinating, but the third Baron de Greys land disputes with Owain Glyndor, and those of you that follow our channel will know that Owain Glyndor was a Welsh leader who led a very long-running Welsh who led a long-running war of independence with the aim of ending English rule in Wales during the late Middle Ages. And he was the one that formed the First Senedd, which is the Welsh Parliament, and he was the last native-born Welshman to hold the title of Prince of Wales. Currently, that's Prince Charles, who's English. He's holding the title, the Prince of Wales. Anyway, I digress. Anyway, back to the story. The Baron de Grey's land dispute with Owain Glyndor was what triggered Owain Glyndor's rebellion against King Henry IV of England, which began on uh, the 16th of September 1400, when Owain Glyndor burned Rhythin to the ground reputedly leaving only this castle and a few other buildings standing. Now, the Lord de Grey established a church here in Rhythin in 1310, which is what we'll be going to shortly. But this is very, very fascinating of the connection between the castle and the church. So, yes, here we are now at the church, the St. Peter's Church, which is a Grade 1 listed building and it's the one that Lord de Grey established here in 1310. It's the Anglican Parish Church of Rhythin. Just to add that the embryo of Christianity developed in the Vale of Clwyd before the 10th century, which is unbelievable when you think of the history here in Rhythin when a numerous Celtic saints established religious cells throughout this vale. One named Megan founded a cell within the parish of Llan Reed, which served the surrounding sorry, population, including that of Rhythin. Now, with the death of Reginald de Grey in 1308, the Lordship of Rhythin 
passed to his son John, who was a very important person in the history of this St. Peter's Church. So in 1310, he established a place of worship here. He founded a college of seven priests headed by a warden. The college had a chancel and nave with a central tower and the nave of that original building is now the north nave here in this church. What history! And the roof was added in the 16th century where tradition says that the roof was brought from Basingwick Abbey. We have a video on our channel of Basingwick Abbey if you'd like to see all of that, a full video of that, uh, which is really interesting. So tradition said that the roof for this church was bought from Basingwick Abbey when naughty King Henry VIII of England dissolved the abbey. So there's no real proof that it came from Basingwick Abbey, but tradition says that this roof did come from the abbey. It's interesting as well to mention that the organ here at St Peter's, which we'll see any moment now, has four keyboards, there it is, and contains nearly 2,000 pipes and is one of the finest instruments in the whole of Wales. That's fascinating to know as well, isn't it? Anyway, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be taking a walk through the town and show you some of the very historic buildings like this one and maybe do some Welsh language. So this is the old courthouse. Courthouse was known as a keys. And here's the back of the courthouse and the uh, road is for the House is tea and shop is shop. Street is street and car is car. House is tea and houses is tie. Roof is tall. Bookshop is shop livrai. This is actually very important. It's called Nant Cloida Dre and it was built in 1435 and has been added to and updated and upgraded through the centuries. It's a remarkable survivor from the decades when Rhythm, like many places within Wales, was rebuilt after the destruction brought by the army of Owen Glyndor. Window is Fenester. Clock tower is Tour clock. Don't forget, sky is our. Like I said before, car in Welsh is car and white is gwyn. So to say white car, it would be car gwyn. Red is coch and black is d. So we'll leave it here for today at Rithin, the old Rithin jail and hope you've enjoyed your trip around Rhythm, the place where there is nowhere else like it in Wales really for the layers of history that's in the town. We didn't even cover half of it I don't think but we'll say ta-ta for now and we'll see you on the next adventure or the next Welsh lesson or the next Welsh history lesson. Don't forget to keep practicing your Welsh because practice makes perfect. That's the old mill there. Ta-ta for now. Nostar. No